Hello guys, it is White Stump Potato here, and I deeply, deeply apologize for how long I have been away. I'm still being told about Undertale. Um, it, I know quite a lot, but I don't know everything yet, according to Fazbear Tale. Or, yeah, Fazbear Tale. Um, <laughs> still getting to her name. But in the meantime, I was just going to do a quick little, like, how to draw kind of thing. I mean, I'm sure most of you know how to draw pretty well. Um, but I just, I was bored and I wanted to draw, but I didn't want to draw alone. Because I got you guys. Haha. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so I just wanted to, like, draw with you guys, kind of. So if you just bear with me here and just kind of. Yeah, I, like, this is just how I usually draw, like, cats and stuff. So I was just bored and I wanted to doodle with you guys. And I was just really bored, and sorry, I'm, like, looking through, like, both the camera and to the paper, so if it's shaking, it's because I'm holding it. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll show you a couple of my other drawings that I probably did while I was at school and stuff, so. Like, I don't know. Like. Seriously, <laughs> I'm just so bored and I don't know what to talk about. Like, well, yeah, let's do like a how to draw kind of tutorial thing. Well, you do the three circles and then I usually make the ear up here. I just kind of bring it along up with a little curve and then just down. And I make little fur and then I just make a snout kind of like that. Like just like that. Or I make it come down a little more usually. But I think that's fine, actually. Um, and then you just take it, and you just go like that. Uh, for the back leg, I usually give it that little turn right there. So you make it come down, and then you make a little another turn, and it comes closer to the leg over here. Um, over here, you do the back for... Uh, I made a really small cat, actually, to be honest. So maybe spread out the two circles that are next to each other. That'd be kind of helpful. Um, <laughs> then you just kind of want to bend the leg a little bit and then take it from there, really. Just kind of go over the lines and stuff. Like, again, I am really bored and I have nothing to talk about. Um, because I'm being spoiled by Undertale and crap like that, and I have nothing, literally. Um, just here. Okay, that was deeply bad. Uh, sorry if I'm not being talkative or funny at all whatsoever because I know I'm not funny. Um, <laughs> that's that's how much confidence I have in myself for being funny. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, for the ear up here, I just kind of make like little fur like that, and then just bring it up and down like that. I messed that up, but I'll fix it later. Um, for now, I'm just going to kind of go over the lines and stuff. Maybe I'll put a couple extra legs over here. Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. Look at that. That's bad. Okay, there we go. I added the extra legs right there. Um, they look bad, but... Uh... I, I swear I do better than this. You'll see in my other drawings. I do better than this. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to outline like the face and stuff. So, I'll be right back. I am back with the head outlined. And I made the back come a little higher than it actually was. That's because I lowered the fur right there because I made it way too big. Um, but as you can see, I don't have the face done, obviously. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to clear out the little circles. Alright, I removed the circles that it were from it. Um, let's see if I can get some light over here. Um, that didn't help. Never mind. Sorry about that. Um, I put a little curve in the mouth right there. I don't know if you can see it. Like, the tiny, tiny little curve. It, like, indicates where you want to put the mouth, kind of. And then, oh, you can still see the circle a little bit, but... And then I outlined the ear up here. I didn't fix that yet, but I probably will in a second. And done. 
<laughs> okay. So, I'm gonna... The tail and stuff will be outlined and not erasing, like, other lines that may be not needed and stuff and outlining some more. There we go. I outlined and got rid of some of the extra lines. Um, now for the face. The face, I normally don't put those, like, face lines that most people do with the little, like, cross or whatever. I don't usually do that for cats. I'm going to put some more light in here so you guys can see it better in case I do stuff lightly. There we go. That should be better to blinding me. But okay. That's all right, right? You guys don't care about me if I'm blinded? Okay. I'm, just, I'm fine. I swear. Um, I wish. Okay. So for the nose, we're not going to put it right onto the tip. If it'll focus, that would be great. Focus. 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 Okay. So we're not going to put it right on the tip. We're going to bring it a tiny bit down. And we're going to give it that little curve in it. And just kind of shade it in. Then for the little curve right here in the mouth, we're just going to kind of put a little curve like that. Indicate that there's a mouth, and then for the eye, I do a lot of different styles for the eye. I'm just going to use one of my most common ones that I use. I just kind of bring it around like that, and I just make like a little circle like that. Then I make another one like that, and then like that, like that, like that. I keep saying that. And just a little circle inside of it for the reflection of it. So I just do that, and then kind of outline it and shade it in you can shade it however you want really and then just get rid of the extra lines you can make it a full circle if you want to sometimes I do that it kind of looks a little better but I just I'm just gonna leave it like that for now and then cut literally okay so that's really it. Maybe I can show you a couple of my other drawings now. Here's one I did. It's just kind of a cat standing on a rock. I was bored and I didn't know what to do, so I just kind of do that. I don't know. I was bored. Here was the sad one I made. It's the same cat. It's like her spirit's like coming out of it. I do read warrior cats, so this is the one I made called Cherry Seed. And it's just kind of, she died in a battle. So, she's just kind of rising from herself and trying to hold on, but she can't. Here's one I did of just a running cat. Sad running cat, I'm guessing I did. It has a tear in its eye, so. Cats lift up their back legs when they run, and they, like, move forward and be, um, yeah, so, just a little hint for you guys if you draw a running cat. Here's one I did, so it's a little more bent than the others. It's, his name's Flying Moth. Um, I, I just kind of drew him, just kind of looking to the side. I don't know what I was doing for this picture, honestly. I just wanted to make a cat, and I just kind of drew him. That's usually what I do. Here's one that has a little story behind it, but, um... I don't know if I want to, if I'm going to explain the whole thing. I know I do want to, but I don't want it to take up too much time. Maybe if I have some time in the end, I will. But it's, um, two of my warrior cats, Cinderstar and Blackstripe. They're mates, but, um, they're both dead. She's in Starkland. He's in the Dark Forest, but she still misses him because of a reason, and I'll explain later. Um, he's saying you don't need to walk alone. In fact, you never will. Because he wants to be right there with her, but he kind of can't. But it was just something that I was just wanting to draw because I had drawn this a long time ago. And I wanted to redo it because the way I drew it then was really bad. So, yeah. This one. Oh, sorry, it's upside down. There we go. I think it was upside down. But this one, yes, but I is actually from the Warrior Cat books. And then Half Tail is mine that I made up. I maybe ship him with her because she was paralyzed, basically, her, like, half her back and her legs. Then, 
Half tail is born with ha basically half of everything. Literally, he was born with half a tail. He was missing a leg. He still has three, but he was missing a leg. So they they used a twig and they tied some ivy to it and around his leg. Um, then he's blind in this eye. He can see out of the other, and he only has half his hearing. And so I just kind of shipped him with her because he was really cute and yeah. It was when I was drawing of my cat, Nico. I haven't finished at all yet, as you can tell. But yeah, it's still coming along pretty nicely, I'd have to say. So is this one. And it's once again the other way. There we go. At least I think it's the other way, but I honestly don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I was able to draw two cats that were playing with yarn, so I was like, okay, I'll, play two I'll draw this. Then my actual cat does not want to leave me alone. And then I really, really like this one. Her name is Spotted Tail. It's one of my warrior cat, um, warrior cats that I made up. She's a medicine cat, so she kind of has a little rose in her mouth because I felt like it. Um, she's really cute in my opinion. I really like this one. I just love how I made it like that. Um, Nico, would you leave me alone?